Hi hey guys, this is uh, Abbasi and I am at the moment uh, in Afghanistan National Museum and as you can see here in this section which is the main corridor of the museum uh, this is a sculpture of uh, Kanishka who was known as King of Koshan and uh, it goes to uh, ba back to second uh, century and that's been found in Afghanistan ancient places and as you can see there are uh, school kids uh, they are here for a visit at the museum and there is a, a guide uh, he is uh, uh, educating them about everything and as you can see here uh, as we are at the entrance of the museum this is a pillar which also uh, goes back to second to third BC uh, and uh, it's been found in Balkh province of Afghanistan which is in the north of the country so we will be going upstairs and as you can see let me show you one more in interesting thing it's a sculpture a little bit ruined no head and no uh, arms but as you can see this is uh, belonged to one of Goshan prince and uh, it, it was also found in Afghanistan's uh, ruler areas uh, it goes back to the second century and as we head here at this part uh, as you can see this basin which is a marble basin it was uh, found in 16th century uh, in southern Kandahar province and also there are, uh, uh, this this place the first uh, floor it belongs to the Islamic culture and the period that Afghanistan had so as we go further here uh, you can see Afghanistan has been a country of wars and battles and you can see uh, here are still some signs uh, which are as you can see it's back to 14 to 17 uh, century and it goes beyond as you can see here it's a Breton pistol uh, which I think will be belong to the 17th uh, century uh, and here uh, we will show you much more things here if you follow me right here, uh, there are also bowels, some, some kinds of, uh, it's also belong to, uh, back to Islam, uh, uh, Islamic history of Afghanistan, as you can read here, uh, Arabic word from the Holy Quran, and also as we go further here, among those kids from school in Kabul, here are also some sculptures. It belongs to 17th uh, century, indeed, and that's uh, the main spot of the museum. Uh, and here is a beautiful uh, uh, artifact, uh, which indeed belongs to 14th century. I was told by the museum uh, authorities. And here, it's also belonged to the Islamic era. Uh, a very beautiful uh, piece of art, which goes back to 13th century. And that was the rise of Islam in Afghanistan and somehow, and it, as you can see, this, this gate, which was usually used, it's made of uh, a lamb uh, 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 stone, and it's beautiful, the lock here, and it's written, it's belonged to 19th century and found from Kabul uh, during the Islamic uh, era or period of Afghanistan, cultural heritage, and ancient. Here you can see a whole mosque uh, uh, which was a small place for the uh, pray and worship. Uh, it also you can see here some places which are not ruined yet. Arabic letter and beautifully crafted and this was the place where they were uh, worshipping. Of course it's not the exact place but they were brought and prepared the same way as it was. Also some uh, Islamic words here from the Islamic ancient history which belongs to 14 to 16th century of the history and we uh, as we go beyond uh, through these areas I want to show you this once more Arabic letters here. Uh, here are Arabic letters which is drafted very artifact style and as you can see some parts were available to found some other were not and it seems to be 
uh, like the way it's, it looks now. It, it belongs to uh, the Islamic uh, period of Afghanistan. It was uh, made on the walls. Uh, so that was the culture at that time. And as we see, these, uh, these are the glasses that uh, used to drink uh, water. And also in this place, uh, uh, many believe the leaders of the era from uh, Afghanistan, different emirs or the leaders, they were used to be drinking and eat, uh, eating in these spots, yeah, pots I mean. And as I showed you, we will be heading to this part also. And her, as you can see, let me show you this, these kids very closely. As you see, they are being educated right here at Kabul uh, in the National Museum of Afghanistan. And here is a beautiful sword. Uh, it's metal kerch with golden color with pod and silver color back to 19th century. And it wo the sword was uh, covered with leather. As you can see, metal and rather, it's very old and uh, almost a very long time. And this is a beautiful sword made of silver. Uh, as we had there, there are also some kinds of pots. As you can see, here is also Arabic lettering on this. And all these part. And here it's written Farsi. Uh, uh, some kind of poem is written there, which belongs to the Islamic era back to 12th to 14th century. As we go beyond here, it's a beautiful piece of art. It goes beyond, uh, again, 11th to 13th century, all of the Sure, I think some mouse or whatever, beautiful one. And as we go bien.
because it's a little bit uh, troublous, but I will try my best to stay connected. you can see here this is another dress it's also belonged to the ancient Afghan females uh, back to 19th century uh, it, it was made by with wool uh, it has this also the sandals uh, female sandals uh, you know these are the uh, uh, you know the tools that they were using to keep their money inside this or sometimes very expensive jewelries uh, and as you can see it's also made by hand the handicraft and as you can see it's beautifully prepared and I think it was uh, used to be war and during the winter again back to this wooden uh, artifacts here uh, it's it's a pillar which was like using during the eras back in 18th and 19th century uh, when uh, most of the houses or shelters were made by wood uh, and it's uh, particularly belonged to the southern and eastern parts of the country and uh, also made totally fully made by the wood and it, here it's another pillar it also goes to the same century, 18th and 19th, as it's written here. Houseboat of the Weigel Kafis, again, from Nuristan province. So they, it's, it's uh, you know, uh, uh, stuff that they were used to be worshipping it, according to the text here. And there is another one. It's also a pillar made by wood. And as we go beyond, I like this one. This is uh, very interesting, a very, very huge and long uh, gun. I think it's uh, measuring gun powder uh, along with this. And also, as you can see here, it's uh, uh, again back to 18th century, 80, measuring gun powder container made of leather. It's made of leather. And this is a gun, so there, uh, it's bullets, where they were used to be, uh, they would kind of powder uh, to, to make it a bullet, and they were used to be used by this gun. And there's another one, so it's a collection. And I showed you uh, male uh, clothes of Afghan female, the dresses, and this is belong to, uh, uh, I mean female, now it's male, it's uh, a turban, we call it lungi, it's back to uh, the southern part of uh, country like Kandahar, Helman, Zabul, and other provinces, people were used to be wearing this, particularly those who were the leader of the tribes, so this is a male uh, 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 cloth, and as you can see here, it's a cap and uh, woven in north part of Afghanistan back to 19th century. The shoes here. And as we go beyond, this is, you know, a chai or tea. It's famous in Afghanistan, so let me show you. This was used to boil uh, for tea. Uh, and th there is a beautiful teapot, a cup. It uh, belongs to the 20th century, uh, so not very long time during King Amanullah Khan era. And this is again a female dress here. As you can see, the sandals and this box was used for their jewelries. 
uh, and it's a necklace, uh, I think. Uh, it was also used for water or some kinds of traditional juices. A very beautiful glass with it. Uh, it's also a shirt uh, with sleeves. So it belongs to 19th and 20th century of Afghanistan. The women were used to be wearing this, again, these kids for the tour. Let me show you some other jewelries here. Uh, it might be interesting for you guys. The bracelets. These are the bracelets, as you can see. This is, I think, a necklace. And again, this. This is, I think, used uh, with a chain for a necklace. Uh, a very beautiful ring, Arabic lettering on it. It belongs to the Islamic history of Afghanistan. As also the earrings. Uh, another bracelet here. Yeah. And earrings also. So these are, there are much more with some kind of uh, uh, precious stones, as you can see. Earrings, very heavy. It looks very heavy, but they were used to be wearing it. It's called Taviz uh, in, in ancient Afghans. And as you can see, there, are, there is much more in this section. Uh, but this part, I'm showing you again. Afghans uh, has been warriors during the history. So as you can see, a shield, a sword. It goes back to the 19th century with a leather cover. And this is a pistol, I think from uh, 19th century during the second Afghan Anglo war. Another gun uh, with its powder. And also this. We were used to be watching this in the movies, but this is a living history of Afghanistan here. As you see them, you imagine a lot of interesting things, and you go back to beyond to 14th, 13th, 19th, and even 20th century, which is the recent uh, historical heritage of Afghanistan, put here in this section. We will be going now to another section, so follow me. I will, I will try to talk with some uh, uh, kids here, if it's possible, otherwise with the guides, if they're able to speak English, otherwise I uh, will have to translate it for you about their feelings. Mandana Boshin. English is so bad, Kadamitani. You can speak English, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that's great. I'm, that's why he can speak. He can speak English. English. So, uh, tell me about those kids. They are, they are school kids, from, I, I saw them from there. Uh, uniform from uh, Danish, Danish school. High school. Great. So uh, tell me about your, your experiences. What are you guys doing here? Uh, in the name of Allah, uh, I'm happy with uh, speaking with you. And they are uh, boys and girls, they are students, and they uh, in uh, Talos Danish High School. And we uh, bring here to get a experience and information about the things and the men of Afghanistan and they are very happy and uh, they all want to be uh, a good students and intelligent students that get information about all the things of uh, Afghanistan and uh, museum. Thank you very much. Thank you. So as you said, they, they said, you, you, you see those faces, those faces, you know, little girls, school girls from a private school. Uh, they're here, excited. Uh, I recall during the school, it's you know extraordinary experience to go some places like museum, and that museum, if that's <laughs> Afghanistan museum, that's much more interesting. Here, it's more artifacts here. Yeah. As you can see, I think this is very much familiar to the Chinese culture because as you see those pictures, the dresses, I think it's, it belongs to the Chinese culture. So, tiled pot decorated with art of manicure with the royal seals, also designs with the animal decoration. 
contemporary period. I think they were brought or gifted by the Chinese uh, uh, authorities to the Afghan emirs or the leaders back in uh, 17th, 14th century. Uh, whether it's not written here in the tiled ways, uh, which is also decorated with flowers, leaves inside this. So I want you to have a closer look to this. See the beauty here. That's really, I, I liked it. So in this part, we will go now back to another part of the history. Here, these uh, artifacts belong to 17th to 12th uh, century, 12th to 17th century. And as you can see, spot made by the mud. And of course, they were used to be the object from Dashley tape. They are found. Uh, if we are good, do you hear me?
it's uh, also belonged to the Islamic period of Afghanistan, the pages of Holy Quran written with uh, special pens, with some artifacts here. Uh, it's uh, from the contemporary period. It, the paper is from natural stone, it's written here. It belongs to the Ghaznavids uh, and Khwaja Kamaruddin Cheshti era, who was uh, a leader of Afghanistan. And here is also holy uh, words of Quran. Uh, as you can see, artifacts here, also this part. In this part, it's made of uh, the vases. It's, they are temp uh, temporary, contemporary, and made of glass. They were found in Herat province of Afghanistan. And here, a very beautiful table, as you can see. It's made of marble stone, a round table. Uh, it's contemporary cowrie shell, jasper, marble stone. Uh, during uh, Abdul Aziz uh, Hakak Zada, he, it was made by him. He was an artist, indeed. And here is another table. It's made of wood, as you can see. And also, as we go further here. This is the tool which was used for writing. People were uh, putting papers on this or some kind of uh, petal decoration. And here it's built. Two very beautiful builds back to 18th century. A very beautiful place. And as you can see, most of the artifacts, they are also belong to the Islamic era and period of Afghanistan. Another jaw here. Pots, I, I think they were not used for eating or drinking, but these are like we use them today. They were just for decoration because you can see there are uh, uh, words from Holy Quran written on this. And is, as we go further here, so uh, we uh, tried to reach out to uh, the Bactrian uh, treasure or Genjine Bakhtar, which is all gold, very ancient uh, history of Afghanistan. Uh, we, but we were told that it's a top secret, and it's be, uh, as it's been uh, put some secret places all through the history to protect them. So the authorities uh, at Kabul uh, Museum, uh, at uh, the National Museum of Afghanistan, told me that they are still a secret and nobody has any idea because it's not exposed to anybody where they keep it and how to because this is all the history of Afghanistan it's been brought back in 2016 to China and it was uh, also uh, it stayed for a longer period there you can see the kids sitting here today it's a fun day for them. Also, they collect the information about their ancient history, uh, particularly from the Islamic uh, culture of Afghanistan back to most of them, from 12th to 20th century. And different kind of uh, artifacts here available. So I think uh, there, 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 this is uh, the time that we have to end with this uh, live stream. I hope you guys have enjoyed the user taking pictures. Then time for show to, uh, food, uh, food up. And they have been enjoying here. So this is Afghanistan's National Museum. And uh, I'm Abbasim. Thanks for watching. Enjoy.